Chink up, boy. You'll need plenty of water for this set. Okay. Let me drink some too. Mmm. Yeah. GoPro, yo. Thank you, Michael Works Hong Kong, Afong, and Alex for inviting me to the GoPro 8 event. That was really cool here in Hong Kong. Maybe I'll use that to film this next time, yeah? So give it up to GoPro. Go buy yours today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Brick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. And today, we're looking at another alternative brick brand. Yay! I don't have too much information about them, but a lot of you guys have actually been buying their sets from my store, and I actually have a bunch that I have built and just haven't reviewed just because I'm like that. I'm Scotty, man. I take my time with these things. Anyway, this is from a brand called H. San He. Seriously, where are they coming up with these names? That has to be one of the worst brick brand names I've ever heard of, right, dear? Yep, that's bad. Yeah, I don't get it either. H. San He. It must be like a Chinese thing where it's like, it means something, but I don't know. It's just like, hey, Sunny. Yo, Sunny, what's up? H. San He. This is brand new from them. I thought you guys might like to see it. I grabbed a set for myself to review for you as always. The things I have to do for you guys. This is the weirdest looking set I have ever seen. It is so bizarre. Let's just jump right into it. So this is H. Sanhee, or is it Hassani? Hassani. H. Sanhee's McDowell's. I can't stop laughing at that. McDowell's. 6706. The total set is 1,038 pieces for ages six and up. This set should actually be pretty cheap. It is available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. About four to five people from this company are probably gonna be fired for the way they marketed this thing because it's really kind of bizarre, the whole thing, right? So when you buy this from us, it comes as a set. You cannot buy the pieces individually. That's right, it actually has five separate pieces that come together to make this. Each part has their own set of stickers. So they, they, they're wasting stickers by giving you more stickers. That's good for you. You get four sets of stickers or five. And then it's just really bizarre because if you really were to buy each one individually, it would suck because it splits apart and some sections just don't make sense unless the whole thing has to be put together. Anyway, whatever, man. So the guy who designed it is probably gonna get fired. The guy who gave out too many sticker sheets is probably gonna get fired. The guy who actually made the design is probably gonna get fired because of copyright, who knows? But let's just look right into this. The stickers actually really help this set, by the way. And before I forget, the sticker quality is actually pretty okay, but the sizing is all over the place. And I kind of have to scratch my head because some of these pictures of the foods like look really, really legit. And they look like they're part of McDonald's, yeah? But anyway, this is McDoors. So I'm gonna give you guys a little rotation here to just kind of show you this and yeah, this is not gonna work for an exterior. Everything that you see here are stickers. Without the stickers, it looks really plain on the outside, except for this store front right here. Now, hey, Sanhi, bricks are compatible with Lego and other brick brands, but man, the clutch on this, like really, this is, I think this is even tighter than Winners. Remember the Winners stuff I reviewed? And I got a review of a bunch of other ones for you. They do get better, I think, in my opinion, and I'll get to the chain pretty soon. But anyway, if you're worried about this thing actually falling apart on you, you don't have to worry at all, man. It's almost like the bricks are glued together. That's how tight it is. It's so tight. And my fingers actually hurt putting this set together. So what I'm gonna do is work our way from the front and pull our way to the back. You can see it's only one level and there's some studs exposed here, right there. Why? Why'd they leave that out? There's, I guess you can put like another layer on top, but this is really just, it's kind of a weird, odd shape. We'll look at it in dimensions. So on the front, you do have the M logo sticking out. So that was kind of cool that you have that 3D look to it. And you got an awning there with a sticker that's going over the tiles that says McDuel's 24 hours. And another sticker there with that burger. The smoke coming off that thing. That make you hungry. Why do I have to review food sets all the time? Anyway, you got two front doors there and they open up and close just fine. Very scratchy windows. On the side of that wall, there's another sticker there. Look at the quality. There's actually a bigger version of that sticker there. So we'll look at that more closely. Yeah, the detail on that makes me wonder, where did they get these photos from? Why is it so legit? Is it really McDonald's like advertising? They could not have possibly taken those photos just for this set. Yeah, right. Now we're gonna go on the inside. I told you guys, this thing actually splits up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split the whole thing up now. And we'll look at each set one by one, yeah? And then we'll slowly put everything back together. Ah, this one here that is held up by all the Technic little pieces there. So I'm gonna move this to the side here and show you guys this section right here. Now the funny thing is, is yeah, so if you really were to buy this in the store and be like, 
Daddy, I want to buy the first one and save my money. You're gonna buy this and it's like, oh, it's just a front wall. See, that does not make any sense whatsoever. So yeah, you wanna just buy the whole set anyway. So we're gonna look on the inside here. Look guys, it is all tiled there. You know, I actually kind of like the design of the table, how they have those little hook pieces underneath. It's kind of just for look, but it gives it a little bit of a design there. There's no window. Actually, there's no window in the whole set except for one. Would have been nice to have some windows there, but you do have this nice sticker that is going over the tile. Oh well, but that does look very appetizing and those have to be legit McDonald's pictures because it's showing the logo within the sticker. Mr. Designer, printer guy, you're fired. Copyright infringement. Oh look, there's a blank tile on the wall. Thank goodness each set comes with all these stickers. Look at all those stickers there. That is a lot of stickers. So I can actually take one of these off and be like, hmm, I like the picture of this burger. Okay, I'm gonna take this one off from the set and stick it on this tile. And there we go. Now we have a sticker right there. Anyway, you got three stools there and the minifigures will slide off them. And you can kind of see the alignment of the bricks. So you see they're like so not clutched in that if you push it or move it around, it could shift and it's gonna stuck and it's like really hard to push it. And being so hard, it doesn't make it look so flat there. It's kind of like almost warped looking. You get what you pay for. So on the side of the doors here, I'm not quite sure what the stand is. I think it's like a magazine rack or an umbrella holder or I don't know, or trays. Oh, that's where you put your food trays. That way you get the food trays or it's a trash can. They could have made a trash can there. It has the colors of McDonald's. You got the red and yellow. So that is kind of nice. And you got a little bit of gold bricks here on the side, which is kind of weird because you can't see it on the other side. Design thing, that's it. That's the first section. Can you imagine you got gifted this and you're like, that's it? I need the rest of it. Let's take a look at the next section. Pull this one back here. You guys can start to see more of the inside. It actually looks really good like this, I think. But again, there are on um, Technic pieces, so you can slide everything out like that and split all apart. There we go. Almost looks like little dioramas now. Yeah, so you get an idea. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go to the chairs here. I don't know, I'm just doing this randomly. Now, if someone just gifted you this, at least you got some chairs here. Again, it's all tiled, which is great. So the entire set on the inside is all tiled. The tables are really simple. Wow, they're tall. Chairs for once and the tables are actually quite high. They put it on these cylinder bricks and the minifigures can fit there. It's a little bit tight and squeezed together. And I'm assuming that blue thing in the back is a trash can, you know? Yeah, throw your trash out. And you got these two random colorful shelves there. That's kind of different. They can pop off, you can just take it off. You see how hard the clutch was on this? Look, yeah, look at that, man. That The clutch on this is too strong. And then again, the guy who actually printed the sticker that's getting fired, the sticker was way too big for the TV. I had to use a pair of scissors and cut the sticker out. So good thing is you get plenty of stickers to experiment with. Use whatever one you like. And you know, if I try to even use my fingernails, tell me that's not over clutched. There we go. So very simple room. I do like the wall there. That's kind of cool, but it doesn't go with the other walls. I'm not sure why they went with that. All right, next one. Here's the countertop where you're gonna buy your food. Again, all tiled. Got a little bit of space there to put a minifigure. And that's one giant sticker going over one, two, three, four, five, five tiles. Look at the hot dog. They have hot dogs there? What is that nasty looking thing in the middle next to the chicken? I don't know. There's a couple of things that I'm questioning what they are. But again, they look like real menus. So busted, man, busted. So the counter here on the front, what is interesting is they have a little bit of a see-through look on the bottom there. So it's funny because the counter vibe kind of gives me that H. Sanhi feel from their other sets. And they do have a bunch of other ones. Fine, fine. All right, I'll review those for you guys. Just hang in there, all right? I'll get them to you. All right, looking here on the counter, you have four screens there and the backside screens were leftover stickers I just put on there because I didn't know where else to put them. But you know, it's not really a cashier screen. I guess you can flip those around. So you have an option of what food you're selling to the minifigs, you know, whether or not it's a hamburger or this, that looks like green tea ice cream and have more burgers here on the other side, a bunch of crossed out X's on there. Don't ask me why, I didn't make those stickers. Next to the monitor screen there, you got like a little display. I'm not quite sure those are desserts or food. You got a back wall there. Are those supposed to be the hamburgers back there? I'm not even sure. And you got a little mailbox container there with some drinks on it. They're just trying to fill it up, you know, put something back there. They're like, this can fit in there. Let's just put it there. 
and you got a drink soda machine there. So that is the cash register area. And on the back side, at least they kind of have an awning here. But look at that giant sticker. Same one we saw earlier, but look, they probably spent a lot of money making that poster and someone just copied it and stuck it on here. Or at least the work is being shown. There you go. That's that one. Let's go to the next one. Slide this over there. Oh, it's a show gas station. Okay, never mind. Come to this one. Yeah, here we go. This one is the Mac Cafe corner side. Yeah, do you guys have Mac Cafes on your side over there? Yeah, it should be, right? We have them here in Hong Kong too. And look at all those stickers. Like I said, without those stickers, it'd be really, really plain. So you got the window here. This is the wall. You got a big giant picture of an ice cream there. You got some dessert. That looks like a churro in a sundae. What? I want one of those. Not quite sure what's on the other side. Looks like, you know, more sun, different type of style sundaes. Man, we got a lot of weird food here in McDonald's ourselves. There's nothing on this side of the wall, but that's kind of cool how they put a little bit of yellow transparent there. It breaks it up a little bit, right? And inside, it almost looks kind of like an arcade place. I'm not quite sure. It's like a vending machine looking thing there. And man, the window's like super scratchy. And then you got this orange, I guess that's a Sunday machine, right? Now look at the colors here. You got this bright blue, this weird orange, and this brown. The color thing here on this one kind of makes it look a little bit cheap. I think that's what the problem is with some of these brands that you, when you buy these things. But uh, like I said, this thing is so strong. Nothing that ain't gonna fall off. And yeah, so you got this blue fence here. It's blue because it's gonna go into the next area, which is the playground area, which is actually pretty cool. So I guess the color kind of goes into that side. So, you know, I'll let that slide. You got another stand here, and I think maybe that's a cashier. I'm not quite sure how they're, they're, what they're trying to do, how they were trying to arrange this. That is the sticker of that churro again. And you got a little cabinet there, drawer, money drawer that doesn't open. That's the second to last part of this set. Let's look at the last one right now. Here we go. Yeah. I actually thought it was kind of cool. I like the wall here. Look at that. That transparent blue. That's kind of cool. I wish they kind of did more of that. You know, this side is just blank. And yeah, it's a giant slide. It's a little playground. You got the staircase that goes up and a slide that comes down. Your minifigure can fit on the slide, but it cannot fit in this little area. So yeah, the design was kind of short on that one. But look, they have a little tunnel there. That's kind of cool can hide inside there. You'll have to take the minifigures apart and put the head first and the arms in there, but they can go inside that little hole. But to me, this color looks pretty okay. It's good. There's that blue fence again, but it goes with the slide. So yeah, so once you attach it together like this, it looks pretty nice. And I think those are like little playing blocks there. Maybe they're supposed to be like, your kids can play with those, or I'm not sure why that's there, or that's just like, kind of to make it have a little bit more of a splash. So hanging on the wall there are two pictures. There's one with that looks like a McDonald's. It looks like another set, guys. I wonder if that's a hint that they're gonna make something like that or that just like a stolen design. The one next to it, and I keep making fun of these guys. I'm really sorry, but now this sticker looks like nothing else on the set. Very cartoony and very colorful. Kids like, I'd like a Happy Meal, please. And the waitress is like, here you go. Enjoy your meal. Da -da 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 -da. But there you go. Yeah, so that's with the Muck Cafe section together, as you guys can see. And then we'll put the chairs over here like that. You're looking better. So it actually looks pretty good when they're all together. Cash register over here. Like that. But there's nothing holding it on the middle there, yeah? So it's pretty loose. I guess if they were to put like Technic pieces there, it might be raised a little bit more. So that could have been a little bit more secure. And then finally we put this Last front door piece on, which would suck if you only got that for a gift. Looks pretty cool like that. So definitely the stickers help and putting them all together kind of makes it look a little bit nicer. It's very different. I don't know how this would fit for you guys, but at least you get an idea that this does exist and you can buy it. And there's the backside there if you want to see the multiple plates and how it's all balanced out. And if I had to do a drop test, we'll put it to here. Cause it will hold pretty good. So I'm going to do a countdown We go five, Four, three, two, one. One thing fell off. One thing. That was actually pretty good. And the sides, you can see they kind of loosened up here. If I push them all back together, ugh, nothing fell down. This one actually approves the test. Look at that. That is insane. Just the M part got loose. Yeah, I could probably do an upside down drop test and it'll probably still hold. One, two, three.
Okay, I'm gonna flip it all around. Oh, look, that machine came out. Oh, a couple things came out, but come on, man. That was upside down. Yeah, I approve of these guys for their clutch because they're super hard, but man, your fingers are gonna hurt. Let me go grab that M real fast. Where'd it go? Oh, by the camera. Dear Wally, pick up that piece. What do you think? Oh, I don't know, Scotty. What can you do with this? It's kind of nice in a freaky way. Yeah, I know, right? But you know, a lot of people do buy H. Sanhis in pairs or in like multiples and remock that stuff. So, you know, I'd like to see your mocks. We'll put this back here in the corner. Of course, it does come with some minifigures. Check them out. There's three of them. Hmm. Yeah, they look really close to the Lego guys. I think Lego might actually have some of these. I'm starting to recognize a little bit of them. But anyway, let's just look at them. Yeah, this lady. Hi, lady. You look oddly familiar. Printing actually looks pretty fine. Now the clutch on these guys are actually crazy too. Like when you try to bend their legs, they look like they feel like they want to snap off. Anyway, she looks fine. She's got a pearl necklace, green top, and I feel like they could have had a little kid for the set because they have a playground. She's probably going in there to buy that churro. And this is Mei Ying Lui. Yes, the yellow crane is really coming soon. I promise you I'll get to that. Yeah, so there you are. Have fun at McDowell's. And then we'll look at the next guy who's like the teenager kid. I guess he's gonna have fun in that playground all by himself. Printing on this guy actually looks pretty okay. Hoodie looks fine. He has a nice little smile there, good hair. Are you coming from a different brand? Have you been copied, sir? And that is Hugo Ferreira. Ferreira, Ferreira. Sounds like Ferrari, man. You had a cool last name, Hugo. Thank you so much, I'm glad you're a fan of my work. And one day, we'll get a warehouse. Let's see, you never know. Go enjoy that Big Mac. And finally, you got this guy who works at McDowell's and printing looks okay. It's a little scratched on the face there. At least he has a cap. He's all in red. He's ready to serve you. And that is Matthew Ladipe. Ladipe, Ladipe. Matthew Ladipe, did I say your name right? I hope I did. And thank you for subscribing. And I will always see your comments. So thank you so much for supporting too. There you are. I almost forgot about this scooter. It's the same scooter in every other set. There ain't nothing special about this. But you know what? Look at that oversized large sticker on the box. I'm gonna let you guys figure out how to put yours on too. You know what, just put this on the side and just pretend it never was available in the set because you don't need it. You just need your burgers. All right, it's dimension time. Break out your 32 by 32 base plate. I'm gonna keep this as one set and I'm gonna actually just put it on to the plate here. We'll kind of center it like that so you guys can get a better idea. We'll start with the length first. We'll put it there. That's about 31 studs in length, so it can cover on a base plate. And the width here is 24 studs. Yeah. Now as for the height, I have my one by four bricks here. Break yours out, we'll put it right here. And that is, oh, look at that, so close. 10 bricks in height. So there you guys go. Yeah, kind of odd. So there you guys go, this is Hitch Sunny. Hitch Sunny, Hitch Sunny's McDowell's. It's available on BreakMeUpScotty.com. Go get yours today. See if you like it. See if your hands will hurt. If they hurt, I feel you, man. I'm on the same boat as you. So these guys are gonna have some fun. We're gonna get out of here and work on some next videos, all right? Until next time, you guys, break me out. I guess you can kind of shift things around, you know? You can probably like put it like maybe like this. I'll give them that, it's kind of cool. You can like rearrange things here and there if you really wanted to. It won't be perfect or you know, you can use it at the front and you can be like, oh, or you can just make it a really small. Look, that's kind of cool. You can make it really small. I probably would have just bought it just even if it was like that. It's kind of neat. Yeah, so you could do it like that. Okay, so you can rehire this guy again who designed it because it, it's kind of cool that you can kind of shift things around. They, they give you that freedom. That's how they should have marketed, man. See, I'm gonna be your marketing team guy, H. Sanhi. Buy this now and you can rearrange it however you like. Did I do this combo already? I'm already, get, I'm getting that old already. I'm already forgetting what I'm doing. Or do it like that with a little, little gap there. You can still come inside. Yeah, you can probably modify it a little bit. Kids only on this side. And the rest of you guys on this side. How bizarre is that? Okay, now I'm getting a little bit too bizarre. You get the idea. Remember the thing about Dreamer Homes? If you haven't seen it, go watch the Dreamer Homes because those are actually really cool too. Mine are collecting dust. Welcome to McDowell's. 
This is the Mecca Bee Corner. What would you like? We have a lot of desserts here. Oh man, I'm so excited. Um, I have one of those. And I have another one of those. Oh, the churro, man. That's gotta be a churro. I want that churro right now. It's all fine and dandy, but you gotta come inside and get it yourself. What kind of place is this? I have to place my order and get the food myself inside? That's right. Come on in. This is really weird. I guess I just pick a piece of ice cream that I want and push the button. I know, right? I just like standing at the window. Oh, look. I think this is the milkshake machine. Or Sunday. I'm not sure. Scotty, push that lever for me. I'm gonna drink this sucker up. Yeah, almost. Okay, you got it, got it. Oh, oh, here we go. Mmm, oh, 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 oh. yummy. I can't stay in this position much longer. Well, that was good, but I'm still hungry. Yeah, me too. I could use a burger right now. But where's the other part of the set? Ah, there we go. Thanks, Big Scotty. Dear, check it out. Let me serve you this time. Hello, dear. Welcome to McDoodles. We're open 24 hours. What would you like to eat today? Ooh, I'll have that vegetarian hot dog. That sounds good to me. Alrighty. One vegetarian hot dog coming up. Let's see. I'm going to order myself some funky chicken there. All right. This vegan hot dog smells pretty good, Scotty. What are we going to eat? Why is this place like this? Where are the chairs? Woohoo! Thanks, Big Scotty. Come on, let's eat. Ah, finally. Dude, you okay like that? I can't really sit down on the chair. I'm fine, Scotty. I'm enjoying this. This is so nice. But where is everybody? It's so empty in here. Don't ask for more people. Scotty, we'll just fill this place up. I'm enjoying my peace and quiet. Dang it, it's too late now. Who the heck are these guys? Oh, you're right. We're in trouble now. It's gonna get noisy in here. Oh, man. Big Scotty! There's too many people here! We're running out of room! Big Scotty stuff! There's too many! Oh, that's not good! You put the slide there! All the little kids are gonna come out! This place is too packed now! We gotta get out of here and go on to the next set! The exit's over there! Come on! We gotta get out of here! Don't forget guys, to like, comment, and subscribe! And Scotty will be back with more videos! Don't forget to check out his store, BreakMeUpScotty.com and also his Amazon page. Yay! Buy more sets. Bye, bye, bye. Dear, stop talking. We gotta get out of here. The yeah, exit's right here. Come on, hurry up before. Oh, man. Big Scotty, you trapped us in here. No!